A diode is a two-terminal semiconductor device that allows the flow of electric current only when the voltage across its terminals has the correct polarity. In this way, when the bias is reversed, the diode does not allow electric current to pass through its terminals. On the screen, we are using a multimeter in diode mode, which allows us to supply voltage to the diode in question and observe its behavior. Therefore, diodes are used to manipulate the direction of the current flow to supply a current flow as per the circuit's convenience. A diode bridge is known as a rectifier circuit as it converts the two-directional single-phase alternating current into one-directional direct current. This circuit requires four rectifier diodes or power diodes connected in a bridge configuration. On the screen, we are showing the construction of a bridge rectifier to convert single-phase alternating current into direct current. Now, let's see how it works. Remember that alternating current changes direction, meaning that the current flows out of one wire and returns through the other, and then reverses. Now let's see how the diode bridge configuration manages to manipulate the direction of the current. When the current flows out through the other wire, that's how the bridge rectifier functions. Notice how after the diode bridge, the flow has only one direction. To diagnose faults in the rectifier circuit, here are some recommendations. 1. Before starting, verify that there is no voltage in the diode, and the circuit is de-energized. 2. Select the diode test mode on the multimeter. 3. Connect the test leads to the first diode. 4. Connect the red probe of the multimeter to the anode, positive terminal, of the first diode. 5. Connect the black probe of the multimeter to the cathode, negative terminal, of the first diode. 6. Record the measurement shown. The multimeter will emit a small bias voltage between the test leads and display the voltage drop across the diode. Note the reading shown on the screen. The measurement should be around 0.5 to 0.7 volts, indicating that the diode is forward biased, which apparently means that the diode is functioning correctly. Note the measurement obtained on the multimeter. 7. Swap the test leads, red and black, on the diode. Since the diode is reverse biased, the reading will be infinite, indicating that the diode is functioning correctly, as it does not allow current to pass through due to incorrect polarization. 8. Repeat the same procedure for each diode. Compare the voltage readings obtained for each one. If you find a polarization voltage value significantly different from the others, it is advisable to replace that diode.